good morning and welcome to another garden video if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Tokwe and I don't usually sound like this I have a horrible cold but anyways today we're gonna go out to the garden to see what I can harvest I've seen some of the strawberries turn red I actually tried three of them the first two were like amazing and fantastic like best strawberries ever that I've ever tasted but the third one wasn't as sweet as the first two and I think it's because I harvested that when it wasn't fully ripe like the bottom part was still a bit pale pink anyways I was yeah I couldn't wait and then after harvesting the first two I just wanted to harvest one more yeah so we're gonna go out to the garden and see what I can harvest ripe strawberries if there are any I think there are a few of them and I want to get to them before the birds do don't have seen any birds around and I also want to have some of my lettuce um, so that I can keep growing again I'll show you what the rest of the bed is like and yeah hopefully it goes well let's go out in the garden <music> basket of strawberries um, I think this one might be ready the one there um, this is another basket I think I'll be able to have this a lot more in here which of them have gone red look at how massive this one is like super big um, yeah this is my third basket there's some here, yeah, there's one behind there. I think that's oh, okay. One more in there, and then I think that's about it for this one. Send it out, runners. I'm gonna cut that off. But here, this is what this bed looks like. And uh, I've got one last set of strawberries here I think I can have a star one there oh yeah got it update my potatoes are looking good those three one two three added some more compost essentially and that's something that you do as you grow potatoes the blueberries remember when I did that video about them turning red they turned the green again and they're flourishing this is the pink lemonade one and this is the high bush regular blueberry that would come out like the regular blueberry color this one will come out pink and they're doing good they are now green my hydrangeas have really grown like it's surprising i'll put before and after and show you what this looks like um but yeah they've really grown they're about to flower that's one there the other one is here in this pot this one hasn't grown as much as the other one um, it has grown as well or maybe it has but I think it's just not in the center it's a bit to the side um, yeah it's looking good exciting my hens chicks and cubs or chicks cubs and hen they're looking good as well as I, I think I said last updates they had three shoots well now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shoots from this mother plant. And then the spider thing, the cobwebby thing is coming back. My color lilies are doing good. Remember what I found in my front garden uh, when I was doing up that front garden bed? I found some bulbs buried. And uh, yeah, this is one of them. The other two are here and this is a different variety because it's got the spots on them so these two are the same but that's good uh, I've got some pepper plants here since I pinched the top of them they've just been stunted. there they are green when I see this one trying to put out new nodes or new stems or new things in that one this bed is looking good I sticks my tomatoes well I haven't sticked them by putting in the sticks but I haven't actually attached them to the sticks yesterday I went on holiday for two weeks and ideally I should have done that before then I feel like if I had they would have grown a lot taller 
but I just um, left them and then they started topping over and then I pruned them when I got back um, yesterday. I've got some habanero or scotch bonnet peppers here. These I believe are radishes. I added some radishes to the bed. These are marigolds. I added them yesterday. I tried to go them from seed but it'd be a disaster so I just went to the store. I picked up a pack of eight for two pounds and then I've added them here to the bed. Uh, yeah, as I said, since I pinched them off, no action, they've just been stored there. But I'm gonna leave them there, anyways. Uh, this one was attacked by slugs. Actually, slugs ate up the, the plants that I had here. Yeah, I had to replace this, and then I had to set some traps for slugs. So, this is just beer in containers. And I see that it has cut two in here. I think slugs ate this one as well and I had to replace. And I'm sure they ate this one as well and I had to replace. And you can see it has cut like four of them. I added some basil to the bed. Uh, so there's one here, one here, and one there. So mostly around the tomatoes. And then there are also some marigolds as well. So marigold basil, marigold. There's a marigold there, there's another one there. Um, yeah, so this one looks quite large, this pepper plant. But as I said, since I pinched it, nothing has happened. I wonder if I pinched, pinched it at the wrong spot. Uh, hopefully, something happens because the stem is growing, like it's becoming sturdy. Onions grown from seed are doing well. They are starting to take the onion shape and they look less like grass. So, yeah, let's take here the onion plant shape. Yeah, I have my spinach. The ones that I sowed initially did sprout, so I had to do like a second sowing. And now it's sprouting, that's looking good. My lettuce over there, over there, and I believe there. I'm going to try and have some of this today. Carrots, they have a mind of their own. Not sprouting, not interested in growing. I have a few. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's a weed, but I think I'll just take it out because I don't think it's something I want. Uh, we have some carrots sprouting here, some here, some here, some here. I haven't gotten the chance to edit the video of me actually like sewing in this raised bed i'll try to do so but yeah i sewed a bunch of carrots and that's all i've had to sprout uh, onions here these ones were grown from onion sets and they look like they're doing good it seems like this lettuce <laughs> is really growing into the sweet of these onions yeah i have some kale i tried growing kale last year it was a disaster uh, the cabbage worms got to them but this year i hope that with the onions in this bed that would max the smell and then they wouldn't come here to eat them codling red star that's looking good my clematis yeah that didn't go well you had clematis wilt and i should have actually pruned it early on like pruned it to the ground but i was being headstrong and i was hoping that something different would happen but the entire plant wilted so i've just cut it all the way to the stem i haven't actually taken it out of the soil but i've ordered replacement plants for them when i get the plants i will um plant those in here and then take the ones in here out but yeah that's the obvious for now let's harvest some veggies and strawberries so I'm just like pinching from the sides and the plan is to leave the crown so that some more less you so grow say what's the remedy would be like minded if we could but that's not the case I've harvested a full bowl. I'm just gonna put that in here so I have more room. 
<laughs> so salad. there I'm gonna leave it so that's an example of the one I harvested I said was in sweet uh, see still a bit pale this is also still a bit pale underneath so I'm gonna leave it to turn fully red uh, same thing here uh, yeah it looks like I may not be harvesting any strawberries this morning let's check the next one still a bit pale underneath as well okay I think this one is fully red I'm just gonna pull that gently uh, what's going on with this one come on is it just one this morning so far i've harvested just this one and it's like red red on this side uh even i harvested i mean it's red here but i feel like it could do it a bit more time i also think i need to add some more grass to this bed or get straw actually because yeah I see like the dead or worst of all them are on the soil I only managed to harvest two strawberries this morning I think the rest of them need a bit more time I'm gonna leave them there even these two could have done with a bit more time especially like this one around here so it's like red red here but not red red here and then I harvested a full basket of lettuce there we go <laughs> add the strawberries well actually as I said I plucked three strawberries so this is my first harvest but let's just say this is my first harvest of the season <laughs> the strawberries are in there okay I'll put them here <laughs> let's see one two So that's my first garden harvest i'm gonna make some salad with this today and yeah exciting <laughs> YouTube family hey guys so two days after I filmed that video I harvested um, these strawberries from my garden I think they're ready like just looking out of the window they were so red and attractive and I felt that if I didn't do it today then the birds would get to them and then I don't have nets or any sort of protection so I thought to just harvest them ASAP and yeah I think they're actually ready uh, that's not too red some of them are redder than others like that's like proper deep red but i think it's fine some of them are a bit wonky and really small i wonder what happened to them that it stops growing <laughs> maybe watering i'm not sure but yeah i could hear like birds 
making noise and chirping and then I didn't want to take my chances because um, I'm going to work tomorrow and for the rest of this week so I'm like yeah this evening let's harvest them I just thought I'll show my face real quick and I'm going to have one of these guys I, I, I yeah let's see Hmm. Hmm. I don't even know how to descri describe it. The first time I had strawberries, they were awful. I mean, not awful, but it was like sour. And all along, I'd been having like strawberry drinks, strawberry ice cream, you know, things flavored with strawberries. So I thought strawberries used to be really sweet, but they weren't the ones that I had. And then the first time I had them was in Nigeria. Strawberries don't grow in Nigeria, so they're usually imported. And I think that had to do with like the taste of the strawberries. But since then, I even thought like strawberries were just sour and then you only had to like... I, I learned at that time, someone told me that you sort of have to have them with cream. For them to be sweet or it has to be processed. And then sugar added. And yeah, that was my experience. But then uh, a few years down the line, moved abroad and I found that strawberries can be sweet. Although they are not always sweet. But this one... Oh my mm. It's like like strawberry jam. You know when like you taste the strawberry that's already super sweet. It's like strawberry juice, strob I don't know, but mm. I need to share some of this with some of my friends. Unfortunately, I can't share with you, but I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, and... Mm. Bye!